How's it going everyone and hope you're doing well. Welcome to this boot review of the Adidas Predator Elites. These are in the FG editions but can also be worn on the AG, AG pitches and we're just going to be talking about the feet, feet types and feet sizing for these boots to help you decide to see if these boots are for you or if you should go for a different Adidas boots. Um, so stay tuned and we'll go with the sizing first. So for narrow to normal feet types we recommend going anywhere from a half size down from your usual Adidas footwear sizing to true to size. If you're unsure about the sizing and you have narrow to normal feet type, then the best idea is to order two pairs from the Adidas uh, website or, or app, or if you're in the Adidas store yourself, try true to size first and see how they feel. If there's a bit of space in the toe box area after doing up the laces, and you prefer to have that kind of breathing room, then stick with true to size. If you prefer more of a snug and tight fit once you've done up the laces, especially on the toe box area, and also nice lockdown with the midfoot, then going a half size down will give you that. For wide feet, just go true to size. It should give you a nice feeling in terms of once you've done up the laces, a nice um, stability and lockdown with the boots itself. And then the same applies for very wide feet, going true to size. If you find it a bit too tight in the midfoot area, just go half size up for very wide feet and it should do it nicely. Shouldn't need to go one full size up, but if you have very, very wide feet and you know the midfoot area is still very tight after going a half size up, try one size up. But in most cases, going a half size up for very wide feet should do the trick. As we said, these can be worn on 3G, 4G as well. The stole plate is really, really nice for artificial grass nice stability and traction when you're when you're wearing them of course Pred adidas predators will bring out ag versions but people that haven't got the budget or money to spend you know two pairs just wear these for the dfg the version so that way you can wear them on firm ground and also artificial grass pitches the reason we say that is because previous editions like the adidas ace the preds of like edges they always had this kind of sole plate and before they used to be fgag before they changed it and added an AG sole plate. So it can just show that these boots definitely can be worn on artificial grass, just to give them at least one to two weeks use out of the box, just to get used to the boots itself, for the materials to soften up before you take them into team training and like a match or fast paced games, just so you're used to the boots itself and then you know you reduce any more chance of small niggles or injuries. The material and the control and feel for the ball is really, really nice. Definitely, if you have the money, then definitely go for the elite editions of these. If you haven't, make sure to check out the reviews that we've done for the league and pro editions, and then you can see in terms of where which boots it, which boot fits your budget in terms of the the money range. Um, but as always said, if you like a pair of control boots and you prefer it to have this kind of laces instead of laceless, definitely go for these. These elite models are really, really comfortable and really nice in terms of feel and control for the ball. So we highly recommend it from our end. As always, make sure to leave a comment down below on this video if you do have a pair of these or an older colorway, as it helps out people that are watching this now make a decision to see if these boots are for them or if they should go for a different pair. And thanks again for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave it a like and to subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time for another unboxing and review in the near future. All the very best and take care. Thank you.